Praise the Lord with me, somebody. Praise the Ancient of Days. Praise the Lady of the Valley. Praise Emmanuel, God with us. Praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are most welcome to this Our Holiness unto the Lord Revival Study. I am Kemji Theodore. I am the author of a holiness study text known as Understanding the Doctrines of Strategic Holiness Volume 1, the Doctrine of Strategic Component of Holiness. I have a copy here. It is uh, available on Amazon and we have included the link to the Amazon website of the book in the description box. So please have a look at the description box of this video and you will see the link to the Amazon website of the book. We are studying holiness. The question that one may ask is, why should we study holiness? Why should we study holiness? That's the question that somebody may ask. The answer is simple. This is because holiness is the most important issue to study, is the most important concept to study, is the most important thing to do here on earth. Because all other studies that we study here on earth certainly they will pass away. But holiness will not pass away. Holiness has to do with everlasting life. How do we know that holiness has to do with everlasting life? Because the Bible clearly teaches so. The Bible teaches that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no woman shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no Christian shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no believer shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no one in the church shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no one shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no pastor shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no apostle shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no evangelist shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no prophet shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no Bible teacher shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no theologian shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no Bible scholar shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no Bible professor shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no man shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no woman shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no Christian shall make it to heaven. Without holiness, no believer shall make it to heaven. It is abundantly clear in the Holy Bible. It is crystal clear in the Holy Bible. Holiness is the condition to make it to heaven. Holiness is the requirement to make it to heaven. No one can make it to heaven without holiness. Hell is full of believers. Hell is full of Christians. Hell is full of, 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 of preachers. Hell is full of apostles, evangelists, pastors, prophets, Bible teachers, theologians, Bible scholars, Bible professors. Hell is full of them. Why? Because they did not live a life of holiness when they were here on earth. It is too late for them. It is absolutely nothing for us to do about, about them. We cannot do anything about them because it's too late for them. But we are blessed to be here on earth. We are blessed to be counted among the living. We are blessed to be alive because we have this unique opportunity to study holiness 
and amend our ways accordingly so that at the end we'll make it to heaven. That's why we are blessed. We are blessed that we are not among the dead. We are among the living. We have this opportunity to study holiness and to amend our ways accordingly. That is why we are studying holiness. We are in lecture one of our holiness unto the Lord revival study. Lecture one has to do with the definitions of heaven and holiness terminology or terms. We have included this definition in the description box of this video. There are 65 heaven and holiness terminology or terms that we are going to define in this lecture one. This is because we are going to use all these terms during our 150 holiness unto the Lord revival study or lectures. So it is important for us to understand these terms so that during our lectures, we will not be confused. When we use them, we will know exactly what we are talking about. That is why we shall spend some time to define all these 65 heaven and holiness terminology or terms. By God's grace, we have already defined three. We have defined one, purity. Two, without spot. Three, without blemish. And in a few minutes, or in a few seconds, or in a few moments, we are going to have a look at the definition of without wrinkle. But before we do so, I would like us to commit it to the Lord. So, in this respect, wherever you are, stand up on your feet or fall down on your knees and begin to cry to the Lord that I should give you a revelation of what it means to be without wrinkle. Because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming for a church without wrinkle. Is coming for believers worldwide without wrinkle. Is coming for Christians worldwide without wrinkle. Therefore, if you are not without wrinkle, then it's not coming for you. If you are not without wrinkle, then when you die, you will not make it to heaven. Only believers without wrinkle make it to heaven when they die. Any believer who is not without wrinkle doesn't make it to heaven when he or she dies. Any Christian who is not without wrinkle doesn't make it to heaven when he or she dies. Only Christians without wrinkle make it to heaven when they die. Only believers without wrinkle make it to heaven when they die. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming for a church without wrinkle. It's coming for believers without wrinkle. It's coming for Christians without wrinkle. Therefore, open your mouth and begin to cry to the Lord. Ask Him to give you a revelation of the meaning of life without wrinkle. And ask Him to give you the grace to live such a glorious life here on earth. All the days of your life here on earth and make it to heaven at the end. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love. We thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you that you are so faithful, Lord, that you are giving us a unique opportunity to study your word, Lord, and to understand that holiness is a prerequisite to make it to heaven. Holiness is a precondition to make it to heaven. Holiness is the requirement to make it to heaven, Lord. Lord Jesus, help us to understand the meaning of the term without blemish, uh, without a uh, wrinkle, because you are coming for a church without wrinkle, Lord. We have already looked at the meaning of without blemish, without spot and purity, Lord. King of glory, help us to understand the meaning of without wrinkle now, so that we'll amend our ways accordingly and we'll be begin to live a life without wrinkle all the days of our life and we'll make it to heaven at the end. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, say with me, Amen. 
So, what does it mean to be without wrinkle? It means to be without roughness or unevenness. It means to be without roughness or unevenness. A typical, a typical uh, scripture in that respect is Ephesians 5.27. Without wrinkle means without roughness or without unevenness. Without roughness or without unevenness. We have included this definition inside the description box of this video. So please have a look at the description box of this video so that you can see this definition that we have included in the set description box so we are saying that without wrinkle means without roughness or without unevenness without roughness or without unevenness Let's have a look at Ephesians 5.27. Open your Bibles with me to Ephesians 5.27 and read. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such things, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So, the glorious church here has to do with a church without wrinkle. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ wants to present to himself a glorious church without wrinkle. He wants to present to himself a glorious church without wrinkle. Well, he wants to present to himself believers worldwide without wrinkle. He wants to present to himself Christians worldwide who are without wrinkle. He wants to present to himself believers worldwide who are without wrinkle. They constitute a glorious church. Why? Because they are without wrinkle. May you be without wrinkle all the days of your life in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It's time for us to pray. Wherever you are now, stand up on your feet or fall down on your knees and begin to cry to the Lord. Repent of every wrinkle in your life. Ask our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to cleanse you from every wrinkle on you. Let me cleanse you from every wrinkle on you with his precious blood. Pray that henceforth you will live a life without wrinkle. All the days of your life here on earth, and you will make it to heaven at the end. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, just as we are, Lord, we ask you for forgiveness. Let your precious blood cleanse us from every wrinkle in our lives. Lord Jesus, henceforth. Give us the grace to live a life without wrinkle on a daily basis all the days of our life here on earth and make it to heaven at the end in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you Lord Jesus that even before we call you have already heard us and you have answered us. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Say with me, Amen. I hope you have been blessed with this definition. Please don't go to heaven alone. Save somebody from going to hell. Share this video with everybody. Click on the share button and share this video on all your various social media uh, platforms so that as many so as possible will watch it 
and will amend their ways accordingly before it is too late for them. Do so prayerfully. Also subscribe to the channel so that together we will study holiness and amend our ways accordingly and make it to heaven at the end. Please, if you have any questions concerning uh, our lectures or our study, you can send it to, to us through the email address in the description box. We have included the email address of the ministry in the description box. So if you have any questions concerning any uh, definition or concerning our uh, lectures that we are uh, going through now, don't hesitate to send out an email using the email address in the description box. Now we have seen four definitions. Hallelujah! We have 61 more to see because there are 65 definitions of these heaven and holiness terms. We have seen the first four definitions. We have seen one, the, de uh, the definition of purity. Two, the definition of without spot. Three, the definition of without blemish. Four, the definition of without wrinkle. And soon and very soon, we are going to see the fifth definition. Or definition number five which has to do with the definition, uh, the definition of without filthiness. Definition 5 is the definition of without filthiness. So please don't miss that definition. See you soon in that definition. Stay blessed until we have a look at definition number 5, which is the, the definition of without filthiness in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Stay blessed.